One of my favourite things about this time of year is simnel cake. With melted marzipan in the middle and toasted marzipan on top, complete with 11 marzipan balls representing the 11 faithful apostles, Judas being pointedly excluded. But as far back as I can remember, we've always had 12 marzipan balls on our simnel cake. We like to include Judas in spite of his role in the story of Jesus' betrayal and arrest. I remember discussing it with Deborah the first time she baked it for us. We both reasoned that Judas' betrayal, as distasteful and difficult as it was, was a necessary part of the story of our salvation. In St John's account of the Last Supper, and subsequent betrayal, as Judas leaves the gathering to denounce his leader, Jesus declares that only now has he been glorified. He goes from betrayal to glorification. Glorification, perhaps, in betrayal. The fickle ways of human nature mean that we will probably all, sadly, have experienced betrayal in some way in our lives cruel playground name-calling, gossiping friends, feuding families, crumbling relationships, any number of things. Its effects on us can be at best upsetting but at worst devastating and life-changing. The result of Judas' betrayal will be Jesus' condemnation and execution as a common criminal. But even as he's nailed to the cross, he exhibits incredible grace, forgiving his executioners, who even then gamble for his earthly possessions. And so it seems to me entirely logical that Jesus would have forgiven Judas too. So he's elevated to his place on our simnel cake. As we continue to move through Holy Week towards Good Friday, to experience again Judas' betrayal and Jesus' infinite and loving forgiveness, Perhaps we should take time to reflect on the ways that we feel that we've been betrayed and to forgive our betrayers. And then perhaps the harder part of the exercise to consider how we have betrayed others and to seek forgiveness for it. And where because of time, fear or death, those conversations are simply not possible, though Philip and I are always available as stand-ins to talk things through we should bring them to mind very deliberately on Good Friday and lay them at the foot of the cross, along with Judas' betrayal, confident in God's loving and gracious forgiveness.